All right, so here's the uh, nail punch that broke. You can see the, uh, it's like a pot metal of some type. I gotta focus on that, but uh, yeah, it didn't break off in the screw hole because it was never really that tight because it had a tapered end on it. So I just turned this around here. Um, I'm gonna probably need a stronger clamp I got another punch in there, but it's, a, you know, it's from this pack of three, and uh, it's the same quality, so uh, it'll probably snap too, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try here, but it looks like I'm probably going to have to find something that's stronger here. All right, so here's the next attempt. Just have a screwdriver. Could, could be a little bit bigger, but uh, we'll go with that one for, for right now. So here's what I'm going to try next. I got this chain. This is an old chain from a uh, swing here wrapped around the motor mount. Here's the other end right here. I don't need that. This part of it, I'm going to drop through. You can see the pulley down there maybe right there. I'm going to drop it. You've got enough. And one of those links, I'm going to line up my uh, Allen wrench. I want it to be flat. Let me show you. I want it to be flat. You know, kind of like that, and just put my Allen wrench in and then put the chain link over that. And then uh, hopefully that'll that'll hold the pulley once I start trying to loosen the bolt there. Uh, also, you can see that I'll be able to, should have enough room to put my wrench on the bolt head there. I think this is actually going to drop down just a, a little bit more maybe if I turn the pulley, but uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. I've already, I've already tried, I've already put a uh, socket on it so I know it's going to work I just haven't actually tried to loosen the bolt yet so uh, let's do that now
Okay, with the adjustment bolt loosened just a little more, I'm going to try to uh, pull it off again here. Okay, it is off. Okay, something just broke, so I'm going to keep on going here and just hope it's uh, the bolt is turning. Yes! That was beautiful. That was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'll show you what I did here. Don't really have to worry about these necessarily breaking that easy, because I believe they're pretty, pretty big. The uh, this is a 22 millimeter. It is in there pretty deep. But that's the size of it. 22 millimeter. Alright, let me show you the configuration here. I guess I'll put it back. And now... Okay, after, after breaking the bolt... I'm tightening the bolt a little bit here so that I can get that belt off. See it unwrapping there. Okay, let me show you what uh, I finally did. So I used the I used the drive belt, the alternator drive belt. I could have never gotten it off if I didn't use the belt. Now it is the same belt that was on there, has the same uh, rib, the same amount of ribs here. Now I went on, I went on uh, YouTube and I saw a video where someone used the belt and they stretched it from the, um, the AC pulley here to the crankshaft pulley. I didn't have enough room to do that. This is a 2002 Camry and I'm not sure if they were even doing a Camry, but uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, let me try to get hands free here and I'll show you how to put this on. Okay, still using... Alright, so I don't really have a tripod here, but uh, what I've done is I put the belt around the uh, crankshaft pulley. At this point, I'm going to take the rest of the belt here. And just push it through some spot here. Uh, in this case here, it's going to be the, uh, um, the just the frame here. Now it's underneath the vehicle. Okay. Then I'm just taking this right here. I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand probably, but uh, you can see how I'm pushing it underneath the uh, 
where it's already overlapped and just locking it in place like that. Okay, uh, I need to pull this, all right. Okay, see right here? I took an extension and just pushed it through there. Just took an extension, pushed it through that little loop there, locked it in on the control arm right here, and then up here. Can't do it with one hand, but uh, yeah, it was pushed through there. So what happens is, uh, once you start turning it, now this is a 2002 Toyota, um, drive shaft is gonna be going clockwise, so we're gonna be turning counterclockwise with the, uh, the uh, bolt here. So once you start turning it, uh, let me put a wrench on. So here's how it was set up. Locked in up here. Locked down here. The extension. Got my wrench on. Once I start tightening, tightening the uh, pulley, it's only a matter of time that uh, can only turn so far. I've already loosened it again, but you get the idea, I think. Uh, once this pulley starts turning, it'll turn for a while and then it'll just lock. Once this locks in place here, um, you know, you're not going to have any movement. You can put a tremendous amount of, uh, of pressure force. Um, and I don't know how many pounds that was, but uh, I used a three quarter inch wrench here with a half inch adapter so this is a half inch this is the adapter um, and I had a breaker bar just in case I needed it I didn't have to use the breaker bar uh, with the wrench here anyway hope that's helpful getting that uh, crankshaft bolt off in this case Toyota 2002. Till next time, have a great day. Take care.